gorgeous morning out there. A lot of clouds out there, but we are looking at the sun peeking through on occasion as we get ready to head to that Bucks Parade, aren't we? Temperatures yesterday, whew, a little bit below average into those mid to upper 70s. Fond du Lac hitting 80 degrees, though, was the warmest temperature out there. To give you a little perspective, hitting 75 into Green Bay, well, we're supposed to be at 81, so that's 6 degrees cooler. And then we're supposed to start off our mornings at 60 degrees. Well, in the low 50s is quite a difference, right? Temperatures still into the triple digits out into the Dakotas. And this morning, we're starting to heat things up as we look into northern Wisconsin and the UP of Michigan about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday morning into the upper 50s to low 60s as you step outside dew points into the mid to upper 50s so little stickiness building back in especially compared to yesterday it was crisp and cool winds out of the south pumping in that heat and excitement from Milwaukee right I think that's why we're warming things up here literally we are looking at mostly cloudy skies, a few pockets of sunshine, but what we're tracking is that rain and storms that are pushing from northern Minnesota into northwest Wisconsin here this morning. Now, thankfully, the air quality is starting to get better. Still some unhealthy levels, though, into western Minnesota, but here for us, we are now seeing a moderate um, to good level. Wausau is still seeing moderate, and so is Madison, but right here to Green Bay, we're good to go. As you can see, that wildfire smoke is much further off to the south and the west of us. So what's happening today is this low pressure is bringing a warm front. It's going to start to push in that cloud cover, that chance for scattered showers, that chance for some thunderstorms as well. Dew points, look at them, surging into the upper 60s to low 70s today, right along that front. So we're going to see chances for showers popping up after 11 o'clock this afternoon. Sunshine to follow, but then that's going to create some more instability for some storms to fire up after 5 p.m. this evening. And if we get underneath one of those, you're going to see some heavy downpours of about a quarter of an inch. Now through tomorrow, this warm front pushes right over the city. It's going to bring us some hazy, hot and humid air. And temperatures are going to rise to the upper 80s pretty quickly. Then we're going to see those showers and storms after 8 o'clock, mostly through the overnight hours and into our Saturday morning. Then we're going to get a break, some sunshine, some heat. It's the 90s we go for our Saturday and then more stronger storms expected to roll through as we push through the evening on our Saturday. That's the bigger risk for some of them to turn severe. But we are looking at just chances of some damaging wind gusts and some larger hail. Also some heavy downpours where we could see up to an inch of rainfall within it by Saturday. So today highs hitting into these upper 70s. The heat cranks up, the mugginess as well. We stay humid overnight into the mid 60s and then tomorrow the heat wave arrives into the upper 80s to low 90s. We go low 90s to mid 90s on Saturday and then as we push into Sunday, the humidity finally starts to drop ever so slightly. Still Still, the hot temperatures into the upper 80s to low 90s. Sunshine to start the week off and then some more showers by Wednesday. But we're holding on to this heat wave pattern all the way through this time next week by Thursday. Kind of fitting, yes. just still with summer. Exactly. <laughs>